company's name is Kotlu Films. That's an unusual name. So where does it come from? Pretty simple. Cotton. Lou. Cot. Lou. Okay. <laughs> Very simple. So who handles what in this company? Oh boy. We kind of, uh, we mix things together with a lot of different stuff. I do most of the filming. I do most of the editing. But, you know, he writes, I write. Um, he deals with all the actors. He fired me from actors. Um, talk about yourself, guy. Well, like you said, I deal with the actors and I get the music and set up locations. And sometimes I improv and I add to a little acting. Okay. I can't stand to act. Don't want to be in front of the camera for anything. Okay, so how did how did you both get started? Well, um, I had an idea to do a film uh, called The Return, which you happen to be in. Um, and I didn't know how to write a script. I didn't know anything about making movies. But I was in the mall one day with my wife and we ran into this, this guy and we were talking to him and he said he films music videos. And I said, hey, if you still film music videos, you can film a movie. He said, man, I can't do that. I said, well, he said, but he said he knew someone who could direct. And I said, cool. So he introduced me to Thomas Scott. And Thomas introduced me to uh, Jamal Kelly, which I think Jamal introduced you to me. So Jamal, um, I met Jamal and I met him at Thomas's house and we talked about the script and the story and he said let's make that film and I said okay so I didn't have a script so I had to that I didn't know how to write a script so I wrote what I thought was a script gave it to Jamal and Thomas and they told me that uh, that wasn't a script and then they gave me Jamal came over and brought me a sample of a script so that I changed all of my stuff over to follow that format and that got us started. And then we went on and we, uh, that film had a, we were finally getting that film out now. But that film was a real mess. I mean, we had a lot of trouble with that story. We, we started filming. Um, once we got started, we had financial challenges. Uh, in fact, you know, my brother, Don, my brother, Earl, my brother slash nephew, he's really my nephew, but he was adopted by my parents. We call him my brother slash nephew. He, you know, they, like yeah, yeah, you know, they, 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 they supported me in it. I mean, there was days, oh my goodness, there was days when I was, I was sitting up the night before going, oh my God, how am I going to get through this day tomorrow? And I, I got to have, I had to have like $1,200 and I, I had like 300 bucks and I was just sitting around there and I'm going, man, this is going to, boy, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And then. I get a, um, a message on Facebook in the morning from my cousin who happened to have been in, I think he was in, in uh, Baghdad at the time. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he's, he, and, then, and he's put in this money, he says, go to Western Union, give them this number, they'll give you some cash. And I go, okay. oh my gosh. You know? So you know, people, people on the set thought that I had the money to pay for this film. I'll tell you something, this was a, a wing and a prayer from day to day. I mean, you know, and I was, you know, you're making a film, you spend a lot of money. And, you know, we just got through it. And so I got started in film, basically, you know, Jamal taught me how to film, and, you know, I hang it over his shoulder, I'd probably get annoyed with me, and I was sitting there, man, why you do that? Why you do that? Why you do that? All the time. So he taught me how to do it. And then we, um, and then I'd call him up and ask him questions. And John Holland, I don't know if you know John. Uh, I'd call John, you know, and he'd help me. In fact, the first camera I bought, I bought from John, you know, um, but so that's how I, we got started on the on the return, and, and we you know we got got the film in it, and, and then uh, we had another problem. We had a one of the actors couldn't finish the film. Uh, there was an issue, and uh, I won't talk about that, but it was an issue with him, a phenomenal phenomenal actor, but he wasn't able to complete the film, so we ended up getting um, going back into the hole because you know I've spent all this money and now we got nothing. So we had to start again, and when we started the second time, uh, we had, were fortunate enough to get Play to, to join us. And, you know, we, what I did with, with that, I said in the script, and, and, you know, he, I had actually asked him if he knew anybody to play the role. 
But he read it and called me and said he'd be interested in doing it himself. He said, you know, this is a really good script. I like to do this story. And I said, well, great, let's do it. And we met a few times and we came and we started doing it. Um, you know, Thomas Scott was actually supposed to be directing the film. And, and Thomas is a really smart guy. He's a really smart guy. The only thing with us, we had a difference in opinion on... I remember. Yeah, you know, I, I, well, well I, we won't say everything, but and it's not that he was wrong. It's just that it was my story, and I had a vision of that story, and it was really hard for me to allow, to let go of it. You know, if I hadn't been on the set and he was filming it, he might have been okay. It may have made a great story. I don't know, but you know, I had a vision of my story, and he wanted to take it his creativity took in a different direction and I just didn't want to do it that way. So, um, so that's, that's, uh, that's really how I got, got into it. And so I ended up having to start learning to direct because I did not know how to direct a story. And I just, um, but Jamal kept telling me, man, you can direct your own story. You know, this story, direct your story. And I go, nah, I'm not comfortable with that. And then it turned out every time we were on the set, it was basically, I was, you know, saying, hey, no, this is the way I want this. This is how I need this. And, and I ended up directing quite a bit of the story. So, uh, and Mr. Cotton here, uh, let him tell you how he stole himself a career. Well, <laughs> I'm in the return, did a little acting in the return. And Please, Teddy. Look I was man. blessed to be laid off from my full-time job and I was in school and during the summer, I was at his house one day and he was about to go film something for the United Way, working with some kids. And he was like, man, I wish I had somebody to help me. And I'm like, man, I'll go. And I went and loved working with kids, enjoyed that. And from that point on, I told him, man, where you going somewhere? Let me know. And then I was just there helping, helping, helping. And then things went a little sour with LTP films that we started out with. And we decided to create Kotlu films. And I just, like you said, I just took a job and kept going with it. Yeah, he, he did. He just took it <laughs> and then it went from that to being an owner and then we, we went forward. And, we, and you know, there, there are times, i got to be honest, you know, we, we don't agree on, on things, but we respect each other enough that we can work through things that we disagree about. You know, I mean, and it's nobody, nobody puts their foot down and says, no, it's going to be this way. It's not like that. We, it, like, we'll, we'll say we want to do a scene and he wants to do it different than I want to do it. Well, we'll do it. We'll film them both. And then we'll go back, sit down to the editing board and say, hey, which one works best? And, you know, sometimes his work way works best and sometimes mine. It's just, you know, but we respect each other's creativity and we're willing to, to work with each other and compromise. And that's, that's what makes a great relationship. And I always say, people say you can't do business with friends, but to do business with someone, you have to trust them and respect them. And if you can't trust me or respect me, are you my friend is what I always say. So you should be able to do business with your friends. If you can't, then that really may not be your friend. Now, like you said, we disagree. Well, we agree 29% of the time. But when we, <laughs> one of us disagree, we'll go with what he says. And if what he says comes out wrong, we're going to laugh, and I'm going to give him a bunch of flack about it, yes, and we're going to laugh and joke, and go we'll keep going. And I don't get mad and say, see, I told you, and get mad and go home. No, we just, next time we'll try my way and keep going. And if I'm wrong, he'll give me flack about it and just keep going. Okay. Rough. <laughs> well, at this time, what other projects are y'all working on as well? Um, right now we're doing the push. The push is a story that he wrote, and I had a little, little bit with it. But it's um about bullying, juvenile delinquency, drug abuse, and just about anything you can imagine that kids have to deal with. And we're doing this project through a nonprofit called Creative Youth out of Charlotte. And you can see the trailer for that at GoFundMe slash The Push. Mm -hmm. GoFundMe.com forward slash The Push. Okay. No spaces in between. Um, but, you know, like you said, you know, we are doing this film. It, it, is a, it is a very serious film. I mean, it is a film that uh, it's going to, it's not a film you're going to go to to get happy. It's a film that's going to open your eyes and, you know, it's going to touch your heart and open your eyes. I and mean, it's going to really make you think about what these young kids are going through right now. Um, you know, dealing with, with a child that lives in a home where the, the mother is, a, is, a, is an addict, or living with a, with a mother who thinks more of that next guy that knocks on her door than she does her own children. 
you know, and how that impacts that child and what that child's dealing with at school and then in, in the interacting with other children. You know, that's what that, this story is, it's a very deep story. Um, it, is, it is definitely, it's one of the stories I would say is probably one of the best stories I've ever written. And, you know, and I write a lot of stories. And, uh, you know, it's a story that, it's just got so much content in it. There's, there's, no, there's no point in this story that's, that's, that, that's a low. It's just, it's just really intense. It's a, it's a really intense uh, bunch of pages that, that you know, people are gonna really, mm -hmm. I mean, we, we talked with, we, we made an inv open invitation to all of the city council as well as the mayor to make a statement about bullying or against bullying and, uh, and juvenile delinquency. The mayor, Mayor uh, Nancy Vaughn, was the only one of the entire city council and the, of everyone that took that invitation and did make a, a really powerful statement on, on against bullying for us. So, um, and we're really, really excited about that. But um, you can see that on the trailer as well. Yes. At the end of the trailer, that is, her statement is, is attacked to the end of the trailer. Mm. But, um, but yeah, so, so that's, uh, that's one of our, our biggest projects, the biggest thing we're working on right now. In fact, we have a person out of Atlanta who will match funds up to $250,000 for us to make this film. So, so we definitely want the support of the community to get behind this because it's a film that needs to be made. I mean, it's a really, it's a story that needs to be.